Major renovation. That is New Kids on the Block member turned renovation expert Jonathan Knight on his new HGTV show, Farmhouse Fixer. And look who joins us now. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah. What's up, brother? Good. Hey. We just saw you uh, tearing down the house. Your, your show, I mean, it's no joke. How much fun are you having in this renovation process? Um, it's been a blast, you know, it's, it's, it's so fun just going from project to project to project and, you know, each project there's something different, there's, um, you know, just different style houses, different challenges, I mean, you just saw me tear down uh, half of a house and that was, you know, something we didn't expect but something that needed to be done and it hurt but we, uh, we, we got it torn down, we got it rebuilt and the client's happy so all is well. <laughs> and this is something you've been doing for a while now, right? Like how many houses would you say you've uh, renovated at this point? I actually, I estimate around 200 but it's been Whoa. so many that I wow. can't even remember but it was in um, 94 when, 94, 95 when the new kids disbanded uh, I came back up to my farm here in, in Massachusetts and was, you know, woke up and was like, what do I do now? I'm 25 years old. My career is over. Uh, so a friend of mine asked me if I wanted to flip a house. And that was the first time I ever heard that term. I had <laughs> no idea what it was. And it's been what I've been doing, you know, Good since morning. 94. Uh, so it, it's perfect. You know, I, I have the best of both worlds. I get to go out on tour with the new kids for three months. Right. And then come home and do, you know, something I equally love. Hey, and I got, that's mad respect. You got into that line of work. You've kept with it. Right. After all that time, good for you, man. And at the same time, still get to uh, perform with the new kids. Speaking of which, best of both worlds. I can't believe uh, the album Step by Step just celebrated <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> And I remember yeah. vividly. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, oh, I remember vividly. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I first saw you guys. You guys performed at the night at the Apollo. Am I right? Yeah. It, it's been so many years. I can hardly even remember like <laughs> what was going on back then. It's just wow. Thirty years old. Crazy. Now, Evans, you're you're a little it, young I, to know this man, but when the new uh, kids were out, player, they were. He, think of One Direction and BTS and everything uh -huh. all rolled up in one. This is pre. In one. Bro. Oh, y'all yeah, had it like that? Oh, no, like that. This was pre-internet, but it was ridiculous. Am I right, John? They tell, I mean, yeah, am I right? It was, it was, it was crazy. Bonkers. I mean, I remember when we'd come home off tour and I'd want to go visit my friends, my older brother would put me in the trunk of his car and drive me to his friend's house just so people wouldn't follow us. What? Um, it, was, it was crazy. It was, it was so different back then than, than what it is now. Is it is it insane then to look at the when you're out on tour and you're looking into the crowd and see you see multiple generations right like you see moms you see their kids like it's not just you know your OG fans yeah I mean now a lot of our fans are bringing their you know 13 to 20 year old kids right uh, it's it's you know it's just even more than that that the multi generation is is just that I just you know 52 53 I think I'm 52. Three out of 52. <laughs> we'll call it 52. Um, you know, and we're still selling out arenas, and uh, you know, we have a show coming up at Fenway Park. Yeah. We've done Fenway Park a couple times. Yeah, so man, I mean, yeah, just to still yeah. be here and still, uh, you know, mo most boy bands that kind of just go off into the sunset, and you know, we're still doing it, and it's. It's That's amazing. how big they were, man. I'm telling you. And you got a lot of celebrity followers and fans, too. Uh, I know Amy Schumer posted recently. <laughs> she was a blockhead. Yeah. Check her out right there. Yeah. Look at the new kids on the block. That's the best. That is the cutest picture. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know, and of course, here you are, Mario, still yeah. after all these years. Exactly. Uh, you know, you're your big teen heydays and you're Trying still to hang kicking in there with you guys. <laughs> he hasn't posted his throwback with the t-shirt yet. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna do it soon. But listen, we know <laughs> that you are also big fans of Salt and Pepper. Did you see the movie on Lifetime? Did you like it? I did. You know, we had the privilege of touring with them and, um, right, yeah. you know, like we would hang out backstage and we would just talk about what we did that day and stuff like that. We never really got deep into our lives. So uh, just watching that, that biopic really opened my eyes. And 
I, I, I could um, relate to a lot of, you know, they're coming up in the, in the, in the music industry in the eighties and uh, just hearing their story was, was so good. And it actually, actually I was crying a little bit yeah. uh, watching it, but it's, it was, it was so emotional. It was, it was done so great. It's, and it's funny because, you know, I don't know if you know this, but Mario Lopez has a lifetime deal. <laughs> and, you know, Queen Latifah <laughs> produced the Salt and Pepper movie. Mario, you might have to produce the New Kids on the Block movie. That's some good, that's some good produ co-producing right there. I'm, I'm just saying. telling you, New Kids on the Block movie would be just epic. Would you be opposed to it, Jonathan? Um, you know, we've thrown around the idea, and it's, 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 a, it's a thin line because you, you want the story to be told right. Um, so it, it would have to be written very well. And the people that play us have got to get their Boston accents right because right. so many people kill the Boston accent. Yep. You guys still, I love that it's still thick as it's ever, still man. Thick, yeah. Hey, great seeing you and congratulations on the show. Good luck with that. Thank yes, you so much. Right on. Farmhouse Fixer is the name of it. It airs Wednesdays on HGTV. Check it out. Listen, it sounded like y'all are going to be working oh. on the new Lifetime movie. That's what I'm, right? I'm going to say. I'm going to go with that. We'll be right back.